hottest dancers. Club LA, the latest music. Experience the action at the place where it never stops. Let Club LA bring the action to you. Located east of the Brook Hill Fountain at 88th and Wandsworth in Denver, it's Club LA. Yep, that's him. Absolutely, that's him. <laughs> it happen all the time you know we would get a new arcade game down at the arcade and all he would do is sit down and next thing you know he was great at it within hours you know or sometimes not even took that long my name is Louis Junta and at one time I was roommates with Tom well, the first time I met him was definitely down at the arcade that he had um, over there at Jerry's Arcade and uh, I met him down there and uh, just kind of hit it off from there Tom was a real friendly guy, always enthusiastic about everything that he did, and, and we were much younger than he was, so it was an opportunity to be able to have somebody to look up to, somebody that was, that was accomplishing things right and left, because everything really that he did, he did really well, uh, whether it be foosball or what have you. Um, then we went down there a few times, and we would talk about what we were doing dance-wise, and we would have plenty of room to be able to practice, and he came over and said, hey, will you guys show me, you know, show me what you're doing. Why are you doing this? And we told him we're on Rock TV. Club LA, the hottest dancers. Club LA, located east of the Brook Hill Fountain at 88th and Wandsworth. And well, Club LA back then was the uh, was the, the hottest club in town. It was definitely it had all the state of the art equipment. And back then, state of the art equipment wasn't wasn't so state of the art <laughs> as we look at it now. Um, everybody walking around in their MC Hammer pants, patent leather shoes. You know, doing the doing the uh, the old dances that you would see on on the the 80s or 90s. Uh, videos, you know, different videos, MC MC Hammer being big and Vanilla Ice being huge. Your name is? Tom Steer. Tom, what do you do? I'm the national foosball champion. When we first met him, he had long hair, but then when he started hanging out with us doing doing the uh, rock TV thing, George, one of our other guys, used to cut hair, and we cut his hair to match the style of that time, which, you know, is a lot like the style that it is today, to be honest with you, you know, the, the, the far up fades and then the lines, and we actually put some lines in his hair to match that style. And then we took him out shopping to merry-go-round and, and got the Z Cavaricis and the IOU sweatshirts and all that kind of stuff. And he said, can you give me a few lessons? It didn't take a few lessons, it took an hour. And next thing you know, Tom was on his way and he was dancing just like all of us younger kids were doing. You know, and he had a few years on us, but he had all the moves and all the beats down and, and he just continued to make it better and better every week. Everybody in my house. Well, yeah, that's him. In fact, that's my sweatshirt that he's wearing. At that time, he didn't really have the clothes that fit in with the style that we needed for the show. And uh, so we did whatever we had to do to piece it together, and that's one of my sweatshirts right there. Funny, huh? Because later on, we washed it by accident and ended up turning pink, like a bright pink because it was washed with something red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen Tom in, uh, in probably 20 years. That's what I'm going to see. Wow. Tom not only had the uncanny ability of coming in and beating you, but he is also very good at playing mind games with you when he, before he beat you. So you knew what you were, you were coming into. Anytime you played, no matter what it was, a tournament or dancing or whatever, you knew what you were getting into. And you were playing him, and it wasn't just a game of skill, it was a game of mind, too. Tom, I'm sure, made this decision definitively on where he wanted to be and how he wanted to be. There's something behind all of this. I mean, everything that you see in that picture, he's very methodical, so everything you see that's on that bike probably has its place and works for him completely. But I think it's important for people in the community to know what sort of person he is and was. And Tom Spear, is the 1994 World Singles Champion. He had a lot to do with the Colorado invasion of foosball. I mean, Colorado's always been on top of foosball. Um, very similar to bodybuilding. Colorado's always been on top of bodybuilding. And he always embraced both of those. Knowing what that story is and getting it out there to people, I think could be, can make a, a good significance and make people see him differently. <laughs> 